Hi guys, welcome to Wellrise. In this video, we talk about best all-weather road cycling tires. Most roadies swap over to winter tires at the end of summer. But what if you can find and install tires that have a sweet spot number and are good not only for winter, but all year round cycling and even in rainy days? Let's find out. In this video, I wanna talk about why I installed 32 millimeter tires after using 28 millimeters for over seven years of riding on the roads. Although the tire size is a personal choice for many road riders all over the world, and there is nothing wrong in using a 25 millimeter or 28 millimeter tire. But before you decide to go with a 32 millimeter tire, make sure that you have enough clearance on the front fork and in the seat stays. Most common belief on shape of tire is that thinner tire is faster, but the reality is the contact patch of wider tires such as 32 millimeter is shorter. So wider tires generate less rolling resistance than narrow tires, and hence it will take less wattage to overcome that rolling resistance. After doing some research, I wanted these four properties in my tires. Number one, superior puncture protection. Number two, thread pattern for only road conditions but not gravel tires. Number three, tire compound with rubber and synthetic materials. And number four, clincher style tires only. So my tires of choice are Continental Contact Plus 32 millimeter tires. After putting these tires, I went out on few rides and I was so impressed with the buttery smooth feel and even the acoustics of the tires was so pleasing. They absorb some of the edge of the hard surfaces and imperfections of the road. I'm sure that's because first, there was more air between my saddle and the road and second, because of the superior compound material of these tires. Next, the traction on these tires was way better than 28 mm tires, especially on rainy days. This was my biggest reason to pick 32 mm tires. I had more confidence now cornering while riding in the rain. Just a word of caution, don't ride too fast cornering in the bad weather because rain can cause hydroplaning, even if you decide to go with these tires. Another thing that I noticed was that I felt less tired and enjoyed more longer rides. This was a very positive outcome of my tire upgrade. Finally, I would not use these tires on long gravel paths, but they should be fine on light gravel rides. My final and biggest test of these tires was to ride on this roadside that I had always avoided. This roadside has a lot of patchwork and you can probably see some of the uneven asphalt surfaces. But I was pleasantly surprised to see how well these tires handled all the road bumps that I constantly had to dodge in the past. Although there are some cons in using wider tires such as less aerodynamics and increase in weight due to more rubber, but personally this is not something I am too worried about since I don't do track riding. I'd rather be more comfortable than come home with sore behind and feeling fatigued. There it is, uh, bike ride with 32 millimeter tires right there and I love them. They were very comfortable and I did about uh, 45 minutes right and uh, I think I'm gonna keep them never going back to 28 millimeters see you at home